this is Millie and as you can see I'm doing an unboxing video for a change. I don't normally do these. Um, yes, I, I thought it was about time because every now and then I see something I like and I think, oh, that would be good for an unboxing video. And then I pop it into a bag and save it for later. And uh, yeah, they're building up now, so I better get started. <laughs> and I will start with this one, the totally tiny uh well food things basically um uh, this one is japanese food i love japanese food and um beth ramsden has done a really good video of unboxing this one as well as a different food thing by the same company so um yes i'll put a link to her video in my in the video description so that you can look at hers for a more in-depth review because this is basically going to be unpacking which you won't see don't worry because that'll take ages um and showing yeah so i'll pause the video while i get everything out of the packet so here it is uh one thing that i absolutely love is this tiny little teapot look it's so cute and the lid actually comes off as well and you get two matching little tea cups or sake cups soy sauce sushi boat that does move up and oops, does move up and down as you move it it's very cute and um yoga yozas edamame beans soy sauce um slimy ooze thing that i'm not going to open up i'm not interested it's got some sort of a topping here and um yeah, I'll put this down and get started on the next one, which will be this, the micro toy box. It comes with six toys that you can see. I'm really, really so glad that you can see toys because um, I don't like buying things and you can't, you don't know what they are. So there's um, one of those things, a uh, slide master, is that what they're called? I used to have one so yeah I really like that one and I think that'd be great for the Blythes and there are four mystery toys so I'll unbox it and I'll open up the mystery toys with you okay see you in a bit okay it's called a Viewmaster and it comes with uh, this thing which is very cute but it doesn't open unfortunately uh, this little toy thing is very cute. Um, I don't know if I'll use it. I like that. That'll be good for the beach with the blithes. Not fussed about the gun and the Hot Wheels. Meh. Okay. So I've got a sticker here for My Little Pony and Rubik's Cube. And now I'll put the tray down because it's heavy. <laughs> and uh, yes, I've got a checklist thing here. So none of these are rare. And um, right. Four little toys to open. Here goes. Uh, yeah, it's plastic. So, do, 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 do. okay, let's see. What have we got? Oh, a little rocking horse. That's cute. Now, where should I hold it? Oh, that is very cute. I like that. <laughs> Okay, right, next. Oh, well, I don't know what happened there. Um, the video stopped. I don't know why. So, yes, unfortunately, I haven't got the um, opening of these. What we have got is a little G.I. Joe. Um, it's quite cute. Um... Then next we have a crocodile head. Or, well, just actually it's a very, very short crocodile with a big head. That's okay, that'll be all right for set decoration. We have a monkey barrel, or rather a blue barrel, with a monkey on it. So I think there's some sort of monkey game. I don't know it. I've never played it, but that's cute. It'll be set decoration as well. So yeah, how... I don't know why the video stopped. Oh, well. well I'll carry on. I'll move these out of the way and I'll get started with this one. My Little Pony Cutie Mark Crew. I think this was about 50 pence in pound stretcher. Oh, yes, I forgot to say. Well, I no, I did say, but the video cut out, so you didn't hear me. Uh, 
the Japanese food set cost £6.99 from the range it was on sale. The mini micro toys were £4.99 from the range also in the sale. So I'll pause the video while I unpack this. Right, if you don't like confetti, be careful when you open it because uh, there's lots of confetti in here. Yeah, I got quite a lot on my skirt. So I'll put this um, away carefully. Can't just throw it behind me like the other things. Um, I'll put it down on the floor. Right, okay. And uh, here's the checklist. Oh. The video stopped playing again, stopped recording. I don't know why, but I've gone into settings and, and my folder and I've deleted a previous video. So here's hoping that'll help, but it's annoying because I had already unboxed another two things after this. Drat. So anyway, here's the checklist. Um, they are cute. So not bad for 50 pence. So I unboxed it and the first thing I saw was this jet ski. It's a little jet ski. That's cute. That'll make a nice little prop. And to go in the jet ski was this thing. Something that yeah, hmm. I would have preferred a bit of a... Con well, it stopped recording again. I don't know why. So I'll try to be quick. So what I was saying was that I had... I would have preferred if there had been a higher contrast between the face and the hair. Red face, pink hair. That doesn't really work for me. But anyway, it's, it's sort of cute, whatever it is. Little girl thing. Doesn't look like a pony, so goes in the jet ski there it is and I've got to be quick and um yeah fake unbox the ones I've already unboxed <laughs> well here's the checklist for the uh recyclings that was three pounds in Asda and I've lost it again uh yes uh whatever something possibly this container has been made from 12 bottle caps so it's a handy little container it unscrews out pops a tub of well what i thought was mashed potato with a little bear at the front is it a bear possibly so it's quite cute it feels very rubbery and i think that's because it might be an eraser because there's a hole here probably to stick your pencil in so i looked at the check please okay it stopped recording again so um I went into a different video player and I found videos that I thought I had deleted. So I should have enough memory now to finish the video. That'd be nice. So where was I? This thing. I thought it was a tub of mashed potato. Why would it be a tub of mashed potato? Indeed. I apologize if I repeat myself, but it's been a while since I watched the previous video back. I forgot where I was. Sorry. So anyway, look, it's in the movie night section. It's not going to get closer than that. Not going to get focused. Okay, so yes, movie night. It's a tub of popcorn. That makes a whole lot more sense. So it's rubbery. I think it's a pencil eraser because look, you can stick it on a pencil. It's cute. So there you go. I'll hurry up in case things go wrong again. Right, next unboxing this uh, Lego type thing called Super Blocks. I think I also got this from Pound Stretcher. Um, I've forgotten how much. It won't have been much. It was because I you know I'm cheap. So <laughs> there you go. You could get a giraffe or an elephant or a parrot or a bee. There are 12 to collect. I think I bought this a couple of weeks ago. So they, they should still have it. Um, collect all 12. There you go. And what I got appears to be an ant is it it's that mystery thing here because oh no no it might be this thing here an ant yeah i don't like ants really does anyone i suppose someone might be out there who likes ants get the instructions lots of instructions but i don't find this because it's mostly black so i'll be able to make something really cool out of it and because the video has been playing up i'm not going to make anything out of this now um, hopefully at some point I'll take a picture of it I don't know but anyway I've got to get a move on in case the video stops again so last thing here 
little dolly 199 from the range that's the regular price she is called imaginate active i think the reason i got her was because of the rollerblades yep it's still recording phew uh because i thought they might fit a blithe so um yes here's one i opened up earlier uh so the rollerblades were held in with one of these each and the dolly also one of these um which is handy i don't care about the dolly um but she did come with shoes and that was an unexpected bonus because i mean yeah that was so i'm so happy with that that's one of the reasons i went back and got another box also because i thought it'd be nice to have two pairs of rollerblades i thought it'd be nice to have two pairs of shoes that fit her because they also fit the midi blithes i am so thrilled look her shoes fit it, it you know as you know it is hard to find shoes to fit midis look they fit, and they're blue they're not pink okay this one is a little bit of a squeeze but you know it's on her foot and it's staying on <laughs> So, yeah, I'm really, really, really pleased with these. They're so cute. And they fit. And I've just got two pairs. And um, maybe I'll spray pair, spray paint the other pair. Like I did with the rollerblades. Here we go. I spray paint in the black. Got the spray paint from Poundland. I think it was £2.50. What I didn't realise when I sprayed them was the wheels move so there are some pink bits so i'll have to get the spray gun back out and they open up like that and if you're careful it'll stay connected at the bottom so this is my blythe that i use for it sorry if you're squeamish no hands no head um, is the doll that i use for trying on clothes when i'm making them for blythe so as you can see her foot fits in very nicely and then you squeeze that shut um and then yay look <laughs> she's got rollerblades that's really cool except as you can see on this one the paint came off on her foot and i tried putting the rollerblade on with socks but that wouldn't work because the socks were too thick so i think maybe cling film or glad wrap as the americans call it would help and also if i didn't actually spray inside that would help as well um so with this next pair i'm going to maybe sand it down a little bit or because i'm lazy just use spray paint uh uh no not spray paint primer i'll prime the plastic with plastic primer then spray them black and then maybe spray them with clear varnish as well to be more protection because obviously you know you don't want paint coming off on on your good doll this one doesn't matter so and i made that <laughs> for photographs at the end of her rollerblading well not her an actual doll with head and hands so that's it that's my unboxing and it's still recording yay i can't believe that <laughs> so yes um these little dolls obviously i have two of these that i don't really want but look articulation that's quite good leg articulation as well so i'll pop these two in a little um plastic baggie and do what i normally do with things that i don't want that are surplus to what i want um i'll put a little note on the bag saying free please take and um people do they do take them which is good so uh yes i think that's it i'm sorry about the bit of a rubbish unboxing you didn't see the unboxing of this or that um that didn't see the unboxing of these but you did see the rocking horse so at least eh, well that was something so yes uh right end of video bye Thank you.